Okay, welcome to Scripting 3, where you can learn all about JavaScript in short tutorials of around three minutes or less. And today we're talking about the, a method called Slice that is available on all JavaScript uh, arrays. So looking at this, um, if I run in, the, run in the console and we console log an, uh, an array here and then look down uh, into the proto here and scroll down, we can find this method here called Slice. And essentially, slice uh, carries two arguments. Uh, the first argument is the starting point um, of where you want to uh, to grab some data, some part of data of the data from the from the array, and is zero indexed. So in this case here, we're starting at uh, uh, zero and uh, one and two and camel, and so that's the first argument as a starting point. And if you don't supply the second argument, it's totally fine but it will go to the end of the array and get everything up to the end. So when I run this, it's getting camel, uh, duck, and elephant up to the end like that. So then the second argument, that uh, is also uh, zero indexed, but there's a little bit of important, uh, a little bit of uh, trickery here uh, involved as well. So it's saying up to, the, up to three, so we'll go zero, uh, one, two, and three, but in the second argument, it doesn't include uh, doesn't include that argument. So it says up to three, but don't include three. So in this case here, when we run this, it will only get uh, camel. So it says up to up to uh, up to three, but don't include three. So if we increase this to four, it's saying, hey, go up to up to index four, but please don't include index four in the in what comes back. So here. We've got camel and duck. So that's 0, 1, 2, which is the first argument, 3 and 4, and there is elephant 4, but don't include the elephant. So if I wanted to include the elephant, then I could either remove the uh, remove the 4 totally and have no, uh, no second argument, or I could put in 5 in there and get the and get the up to the end of the array. Now importantly, also if we uh, log the original array after the after the first one here we'll find that the original array uh, remains intact and unchanged by the slice method. All right, I hope this is helpful. Please subscribe and like and uh, leave comments uh, below.